together, stay right with me, right this way.
you're doing a, a football game or something, are you lower altitude than this? No, generally higher than this. Really? Yeah. Wow. Your camera must be really good. Uh, yeah, we got a pretty phenomenal camera.
great if it was just this quiet all the time. <laughs> How many horsepower are those engines? Two ten apiece. They haul this thing up pretty good. Right yeah, it's, once you get it moving, it's uh, the only thing you got is the air resistance. You don't really have gravity to to worry again.
some harmonics in there. Oh, yeah. They came this close to giving me a pacemaker and that's was this was like 10, 12 years ago and I was having severe heart arrhythmia. Oh jeez. And uh, luckily they were starting to do the electro um, mapping inside mm -hmm. the heart so they were able to go in there and do some oblations and oh, straighten yeah. it out. And you got lucky. I was yeah. yeah I was fortunate. 
So otherwise, I wouldn't be flying. My rear would have been over. You wouldn't be behind a seat anyhow. And that was a bad thing. I had a doctor that's like, no, I think you probably ought to look for another job. It's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I damn near died getting into the hospital, and he was just going to blow me out of the water once I was there. <laughs> he's like, nice guy. <laughs> you got any other options? <laughs> Right about now? Is it just the one or? We have one that's here, one in Florida and then one in California. There's oh, three. Okay. Where's the other one? They had four. Nope. nope. I, saw, I saw inside pictures of four oh, flying. That was in 2002 when okay. we christened a new one. Okay. We brought the, all three ships. Okay. And then we had the new one. Right. And then we retired the one after oh, we flew so the fourth. Yeah, yeah, it's retired. Oh, in fact, it's the one that we built. The, the uh, spirit of innovation that we just christened. Oh, it was that gondola. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah. And so where did that go? Florida. Okay. Pardon? What's it cost to build one? No idea. I have no idea. They even do it again sometimes. Now here, it, this gets kind of interesting because when we have it here at the at the base, yeah. we can move it around on what we call the mobile mast. As you can see, it's a pyramid shape attached right. to the nose cone of the ship. The mass cup then allows the airship to pivot 360 degrees all the way around wherever it wants to go because it's only go always going to right itself with the nose into the wind. We have some uh, four-wheel drive vehicles, two of them. They're, they're going to pull out once they get it down here a little bit closer. And then one of the crewmen is going to climb on top of the mule and he's going to release some of the cables that are on the bottom fin right around uh, where it says N3A. What will happen then is they will attach these locks to each of those cables. And then the cables will attach to the uh, pulleys on the back of each of the, of the mules. And those locks have a, a pressure set on them so that if there gets too much pressure, they will automatically disengage. So you're not pulling too strongly in one direction. And because they're attached, if you can see above the R, yep. a couple of loops up there, yep. that's where the cables are attached that are going to be attached to the mule. Uh, what okay. that will allow us to do, it's kind of like an orchestrated dance. It's going to, we're going to pull it. This forward one is going to pull it. The one in the back is basically going to push it. And then it's going to pivot on the nose cone. They're going to turn it all the way around. They're going to back it in and oh, then really? lock it in. Yes, oh. we always back it in. Now we've got light winds tonight. They're they're kind of favorable. They're coming over the lake, and it's not a big deal. So that and they're not real strong, so it's not going to be too difficult. But again, the fabric is not real strong, so uh -huh. you can't be pulling if you get a sudden wind gust or push in one direction. You want to be sure that you're not going to tear the fabric there. Sometimes we won't bring it out, or we'll bring it in early because the wind, the directions, and the strength of the wind. The critical time is crossing the threshold of the doors there. If you get a side gust, then it's going to push it into the door, then you've got some major damage. So. Great, great view of the uh, sign from here. It's made up of almost 4,000 light board units. Uh, they're two by three uh, inch rectangular boards. They have three colored LED lights in each of the four corners. What that allows you to do is, uh, our text to do, I should say, is any picture that you can scan into a computer, they can put up on the sign. They can put a uh, video up on the sign. Thousands of color hues. It's really quite, quite remarkable what they can do. The section at the bottom is a little bit of a, a lighter shade. Uh, those sign uh, boards are used for the day sign. Uh, because you don't have the dark sky at night like you do for the for the night sign, you need higher intensity light. So those boards also have the three colored LED lights in each of the corners, but then they also have high intensity lights all the way around the board so that you can see it from the ground. Now we can't do anything fancy with that. The day sign is just right to left script. It's uh, red lettering. Oh, okay. That's about all we can do. When they bring it around, you're going to be able to see some of the cabling that goes into the airship. Some of that underneath, and that is for the rudder controls, the right and left, up and down. The fins are just yeah. laying on the envelope. 
So some of that cabling you'll be able to see, some of that is to stabilize the fins on the, on the bag. And then again, some of it is for control. The one that's the new one? That's the one that's down in Florida. Oh, that's in Florida. That's yeah. why they have a new name. That's Whatever. right. That's one. The spirit of <laughs> innovation. Now, this that's is the like spirit of Goodyear. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, if you notice, it's got a stripe in the middle right under Goodyear, the mm -hmm. sign. Ours is the only one. The spirit of Goodyear is the only one that has that stripe. That's kind of an old uh, style of a paint job. Uh -huh. The new ships, the California and the Florida ship, don't have that center stripe. So if you ever see a blimp flying that's got that center stripe, you'll know it was the one that you were flying. There we go. <laughs> we'll pull around the front and you can see how much room. And then they're electrified. It just takes a minute or two to close them up. So it's safe and sound for the day. This has been amazing. You know, you build things up in your mind and rarely do they ever even meet your expectations. And when do they ever exceed?